Hi, I'm Dr. Rob DeBeese, and I wanted to welcome you to another one of Dr. Rob's whiteboard sessions. Today, we are going to be talking about one of the underlying potential causes to autoimmune disease or autoimmune disorders. And one of the causes is a problem with your gut. And I want to show you what happens here. Basically, in the intestinal tract, right, the intestinal tract is this long tube. Essentially, you could say it starts at your mouth and ends at your bum. In this tube, we have different parts that do different jobs. And in the small intestines, that's the area where we absorb most of our vitamins and minerals. It's also an area where we're starting to make waste. We're starting to make the metabolic byproducts that will eventually make it to the colon and form stool. And what will happen is this. In the intestinal tract, because we're absorbing all of our vitamins and minerals here, our body or God had to come up with a defense mechanism to allow all the good things to get into our body, to get into the bloodstream, but stop the toxins from stool and other sources that are in the intestinal tract to stop them from getting in the bloodstream. And what we have, or what was developed, were this, was this microvilli. In the intestine, you have these little tiny fingers called villi. And if I was to put them under a magnifying glass, they would look like this. Here's a normal microvilli. And what you'll see, or rather a normal villi, and what you'll see in this villi is you'll see this border of even smaller fingers. And those smaller fingers are called microvilli. And the microvilli have a very important job, and that job is to allow the good stuff into the bloodstream and to prevent the bad stuff from getting into the bloodstream. So how does that relate to autoimmune disorders? Well, when someone has parasite, yeast, bacteria, fungus, mold, food sensitivity, toxin, a ton of other things that could potentially damage these microvilli, damage these guardians, damage these protectors of the bloodstream, what happens is when they get damaged, for example, let's say they're eaten by a parasite. Well, your microvilli are gone. Now what'll happen is there'll be toxins that are present in the body. So you'll have a toxin, let's say, that's sitting here. Here's a toxin that's maybe going to be formed into stool. Well, with this microvilli here, we have a border. Here's that microvilli border. So that toxin cannot get through the villi into the bloodstream. In this case, though, the villi and the microvilli have been damaged by the presence of parasites. So in this case, the toxin now can get into the bloodstream. Once that toxin gets into the bloodstream, it can deposit in places. When those toxins deposit in the thyroid gland, they can cause the body to start to attack the thyroid gland. And the body's not really attacking the thyroid gland. What the body is doing, it's attacking the toxins that are in the thyroid gland. The problem is the immune system is the part of the body that attacks those toxins. And the immune system, man, the immune system is tough. It's not a weak system, and it's got to be tough. And when it goes in there and attacks those toxins, it really attacks them. It's almost like uh, if you had some flies on your wall, and instead of just hitting them with a fly swatter to kill them, um, you went ahead and shot them with your shotgun. Well... You would definitely kill the flies, but you'd also blow holes in your house. When someone has, for example, like autoimmune Hajimoto's thyroiditis, the immune system is attacking the thyroid gland. But in my opinion, one of the things that could potentially be happening are toxins they leak in from the gut because of the damaged microvilli. They get into the bloodstream, they deposit in the thyroid, and all the body wants is self-preservation. So it's attacking those toxins that are in the thyroid. The problem is, is it's doing it with a shotgun and the thyroid then gets damaged and you have this autoimmune disorder. When toxins deposit in the joints, we're looking at rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, potentially lupus. When they deposit in the hands, we're looking at Renaud's phenomena. When they deposit in the eyes or in the lacrimal glands that make uh, uh, eye fluid or salivary fluid, we're looking at the autoimmune disorder that attacks that, so, uh, Sogren's. So there's all these different autoimmune disorders and often it's not really that the body is attacking itself. It's that the body is attacking toxins that have been deposited in those joints or in those tissues of the body. 
So what do we need to do? Well, there are holistic labs that are typically run to be able to identify if leaky gut is present. Also, there are labs that are done to be able to tell if these toxins are indeed attacking your system, you know, and then you need to know what to do about it. So it's good to make sure you get yourself in the hands of a good doctor that knows what he's doing, or if you need help from me, I am happy to help you. I see patients from all over the U.S. We have patients that come to us from over 30 states and about 10 other countries. So there's a lot that we can do to help you guys. So if you need help, please give us a holler. So essentially what we're looking at doing then for those cases is when a person has an autoimmune disorder, we're looking at the gut in this case, and then we're looking at finding the toxin that's damaging that particular part of their body and then handling that. So that's what we're looking at doing for those autoimmune type cases. So I hope you found this information to be beneficial. If you did, please click the subscribe button at the bottom of the page. Uh, my purpose is to help and I wanna reach as many people as I can, so please subscribe and share with your friends. Thanks very much and I will see you at the next Dr. Rob's Whiteboard Session.